Welcome back to Let's Play Red Dead Redemption 2. We made our way over through Amberino. Looks like we can go see Charlotte again. Let's go, Pale Mist. Hey, Shar Shar. Oh, hey Too much. <laughs> How you feeling, man? Much better than I felt <laughs> in a long time. I, if we hadn't caught that rabbit, I don't think I'd made it another day. You look better. Better and determined, thanks to you. And if I'm gonna learn to hunt, I figured it was time I learned how to use Cal's gun properly. How's that working out for you? Well, let's just say my prey is looking decidedly unscathed. It's a wild pack of bottles. At the end of labor, Whoa, to gain the light. Is that not what Aristotle said? Uh, well, I, I don't know much about Aristotle, but uh, well, I know a thing or two about shooting a gun. Look, you gotta hold steady, firm. Hmm? You just focus, breathe slowly, and always pull the trigger. On empty lungs. Here, I'll show you. Okay. Calm and steady. Don't snatch at the trigger. What is this demo? You make it look so easy. Yeah, Arthur. All right. <laughs> you try now. Remember to breathe. You yeah. gotta stay positive. Shoot on the exhale. My turn. I'll shoot a few more this time. Damn, showing off ain't gonna do nothing, Arthur. Nothing. I'll take care of this oh, pack of bottles for you. Back. I see it now that I'm editing, but uh, when I was playing it, I couldn't see a damn thing. Couldn't see it. Sorry, Shar Shar. Nice. I hit it. I hit it, didn't I? <laughs> what can I say? Thank you. Thank me for what? <laughs> I still have some of the rabbit left that I salted up. Would you join me for a meal? It's the least I can do. You. Yeah. Free meal. Arthur. <laughs> Not really, but uh Go ahead and take a seat at the table. Food is just about done. Oh, finally out of that rain. There's way too much rain up here. <laughs> well, it's it's good and hot. I hope you enjoy it. You helped me to catch it after all. <laughs> Bon appetit. Yeah. Please enjoy. And thank you again for everything. It means good appetite, really Arthur. Uh, there was nothing. She's French. You're a good man. Arthur. No, you don't really know me. I know enough. There's always more to find in ourselves. You helped me to see that. My husband, Cal, 
was such an optimist. I found that to be very contagious. But there's a fine line between optimism and naivete. And we were both born with a silver spoon. Banquets, butlers, valets. It sounds terrible. It's just so many people. So many people. Oh, oh. I was lost in it. Crushed by it. My father was very overbearing. Then we came out here and I got crushed by this. You know, I pictured myself picking fresh vegetables, <gasps> sipping homemade wine, writing a great novel. But I turned out to be a far more pathetic anti heroine than any I could ever pen. <clears throat> I reckon we're gonna be just fine. <coughs> Are you alright? Can I get you some water? No, no, no. I just, um. I can do this. <laughs> I can deal with this. Yeah, thank you for this. I think it's, it's best if I, if I make. <coughs> Stay right there. It's, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Damn, the TV's really doing me in. I mean, doing us in, Arthur. I'm with you all the way. My dear Arthur, I have gone out hunting. Not a phrase I thought any pen of mine would ever ink, but... Nonetheless, one I am very proud to finally be able to write. I am so very grateful to you for all the help and encouragement you've given me. There is some money in a box on the nightstand. Please take it. I have far more than I need back in the city, and I'd like you to have it. Please take care, and remain true to the man I know you are. Luke jewelry box. Hundred bucks. Uh, I mean, if that's what you want, Charlotte. We finally get to see what the inside of this house looks like. Oh, well, I hope we helped her enough. Time to leave. 